Hello friends, my name is Siddharth Sinha and this video is on CAIB, ABM, unit number 2, Supply and Demand. So, those who want to avail the full CIB video course could call us on this number, 4 times 9, 6, 8, 5, 2, 7. Already number is given on the board. So, let us start a chapter. So, economics. So, in economics, if we use the demand, uh, supply and demand theory. So, by this using supply and demand theory, it tells us that economics is a powerful tool, which explains the changes in the economic environment. What are the changes going to be happened in the economic environment? It could be explained by the supply and demand theory by the help of economics. Okay. Now, supply and demand theory also shows that uh, what are the preference of the consumer. So, it tells you what the preference of the consumer. So, consumer preference determines what is the consumer need or what is the consumer demand for any particular commodity. So, consumer preference determines consumer demand for any particular commodity while business cost determines what should be the supply of the particular commodity okay what should be the supply okay so what is what uh, means if uh, consumer is demanding 100 quantities of any of any commodity then the business uh, cost will have to produce will not have to is uh, required to produce 100 commodity okay now it is up to the business cost whether they are they could provide it or they could not provide it okay so that's the point so here what we understand by the supply and demand theory supply and demand theory simply tells us the consumer preference okay and it helps in determining that uh, what is the consumer demand for any particular commodity while business cost determines the supply of the commodity okay now price is inversely related to the quantity price is inversely related to the quantity so if the price let it be like this. So, if the price increases, definitely the quantity demand will be decreases. Got the point? If the price decreases, then the quantity demand will be increases. So, it is reverse order. Okay, you got the point? It is a reverse order. So, we could say it's an inverse related. Okay, opposite to each other. Now, demand schedule. So, what do you understand by the demand schedule? So, demand schedule tells us the relationship that exists between the price and the quality bound. So, what do you understand by the demand schedule? Demand schedule tells us the relationship. Okay. Demand schedule is nothing but it tells us the relationship between whom? Price and the quantity bought. Okay. Bought or quantity purchased. Now, demand curve is simple. It is a graphical representation of the demand schedule. Demand curve is nothing but it is a graphical representation of demand schedule. Low of downward sloping demand. Okay. Low of downward sloping demand. So, price of the commodity is raised or increased, buyers tend to buy less commodity, keeping other things being constant. So, what do we understand by here? Law of downward sloping demand. Here it says, when the price of any particular commodity is raised or is increased, then buyers will buy the less commodity. Okay. Then buyers will buy the less price or less commodity over here. Okay. Where all the things are being kept constant. What is happening where all the things being kept constant? Similarly, when the price of the commodity is decreased, then more buyers will buy the product or uh, more buyers will buy the commodity or the commodity demand will be increased. Market demand. Market demand is nothing but it is the sum total of all individual demand. So, let us say in a India, uh, India is a big country and India, let us take the market demand for India. So, in market demand for India, we have to calculate let of Coimbatore. Uh, marketplace of Coimbatore, Chennai, then Travancore, then your uh, Hyderabad, then your uh, Bangalore, then uh, Mumbai, then Pune, then uh, Delhi, Kolkata, Bhopal, Patna, all cities I am using. In that also, if you move, talking of Mumbai, in Mumbai there are, there are no, lots of marketplaces over, like, uh, like uh, Andheri, like uh, your uh, Kolaba, like your uh, Lower Parel, Kandivali, Borivali, and lots of areas is there. So, if you are clubbing all those, if you are clubbing all those of all the marketplace of all the cities across India, even in the rural areas also, everything also, then it will give the total market demand for your country. Okay, that is known as market demand. Okay. Uh, lower price, what will happen? Lower price definitely going to attract new customers. So, lower price is definitely going to attract new customers, which is known as substitution effect. Got the point? So, lower price attracts new customers, which is known as substitution effect. 
now the price is reduced when a price reduction price reduction will definitely going to bring or induce extra purchase of goods so price reduction will definitely going to bring or induce extra purchase of goods by existing customer and substitution effect what's my point so uh, if we doing price reduction or if you using if we doing the price reduction means if you reducing the price if you reducing the price of the commodity definitely more buyers will buy the product if more buyers are buying the product definitely there is something known as extra purchase is happening what is happening extra purchase see when the price is lowered more quantity will buy definitely it is true when more quantity is buying definitely there are some extra purchasing is happening okay extra purchasing is happening when more more purchase is happening okay so this extra purchase of goods is done by the existing customers or by the substitution effect that is new customers okay substitution effect why that is new customers okay so please write down all those points in your notebook okay you could buy cib video lecture course package in which you are going to provide video lecture courses case study and numerical video uh, 2000 set of question banks super notes quick revision note edit reading material mock test then uh, you require to if you want to buy cib courses then there is one course known as cib face to face video lecture course which is uh, which you could buy in which cib abm bfm or retail banking if you buy any paper it will cost rupees 1500 rupees if you buy cib abm plus bfm it will cost rupees 2700 rupees cib abm plus bfm plus retail banking it will cost rupees 3500 rupees for more information you could call us what times nine six eight five one two seven second number is seven eight two seven five four six nine four six you could visit the website and place an online order over there website is triple w dot jibcibstudybuttle dot com email id is eight sina one two three dot of gmail dot com